So with all that, it's been messy for years with you, Terry, Stone, Bernie. Like, where did it all? Where does it all stem from? Right. What is this like, the story? The, 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 the at true start? story, which which I've never said, and people, and I've and I've I've just kept it to myself for different things, right? Me and Terry Stone were mates. So I've known Terry for years. I was at, I was at, I used to do Royal Ascot security there. Me and my foster brother Sid Randolph doing the things. He come in, and he said I had a book, and it was uh, I took they were our backs. Muscle had just come out, so I said I got one copy left. And it was for someone. And he went, oh, can I? I said, do you want that copy, Terry? He went, yeah. Can you sign it to me? Signed it to him, and then he rang me a few weeks later. He said, I've spoke to a couple of people. He went, This is mate, a blinding film. He said, We'll have a meet at Marrakesh, which is his restaurant. He's already, already sold on, on another podcast that he, I was just a, did a bit of door work and I was just a football hooligan, right? I was just nothing really. But he bought my book and he made me because he bought my book and turned it into a film. No. My book was the start of the franchise. I started the Rise of Foot Soldier. They, you got the part of fucking Tony Tucker because I, I told, I helped you get that part. Do you know what I mean? So you, that's the part you wanted to play. So it was all right. And he, he, he I'd done the deal with him. He changed the deal and he went to me. I was supposed to get a chunk of money and there was some royalties. He went to me, take less money, which is 20 grand less than what you was going to get. I tell you what it was, it was 30 grand for my story, right? He said, what we'll do, take 10. He said, we've gone with another film company. He said, like, obviously, he ended up kindly. He said, take 10 instead of 30. 30 was a lot of money then, like 2006. A lot of money to have 30 grand to sell a story, for, you know. And then he went, he said, um, well, you need for months, then we'll give you the royalties and all that. So basically, he chipped me from a bit of dollar. It, it was a cult film, and they, they, they to this day they say it's it, it still they didn't make any money. What's a load of bollocks? But what he did in 2007, I started. He got pally with, with Bernie. Now I'd heard, I'd had my, my cards marked about him that he, he was a wrong man. He, he he moved into the Essex for certain reasons, to, and he was a grass and different thing, and something went right about him, right? There was people, people like, where did this man appear from? Brummy, all of a sudden, he, he, he's in the heart of Essex, whatever. Right, so I said to Terry, I mean, what are you doing padding up with him? And he, Terry done two films, Bonded by Blood, one and two, you know, two fucking best British films of all time. Obviously not. What did you get in with him? I said, tell. I went, he's a fucking wrong one. Like, I thought we're friends. Well, I'm an actor. I went, a fucking actor? He went... I'll, if, if I had to play a pedophile or a grass or anything, I said, that's my job now. So I, I can't, I'm not going to do it. And I, and I said to him, like, you, if, if you're his friend, you ain't my friend. And that's basically what I said to him. I said, we can't be friends. And that was the, re the reason I never, after that, I never spoke to him again and didn't want nothing to do with him because he was making him a grass, like, and it was, and it was told uh, uh, on, the, on the circuit, if you know what I mean. That he was a wrong one, and he, he he went well. If he is, he is, and he so to me, I thought you ain't got no no morals or principle. You know what I mean? You're you're just like the rest of them, the pan out. When did Terry start acting? I don't know. He, uh, no, he done Rolling with the Nines, which was made the year before. Rise of the Foot Soldier was a great movie. Yeah, man. yeah. It's a, it's a fucking uh, great movie. I Some of them, he, I know there's about what I six. Think he just made a couple of. Films I know there's somewhere. six or seven. I, 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 Terry I, is an actor. Listen. They, there's not much work in the UK. If no. there's Rise of the Foot Soldier 30, yeah. he's still going to be playing yeah. the part. Yeah. And it's understandable. He actually but, thinks he's Tony Tucker. Is, um, so, he, he believes in his head that he is Tony Tucker reincarnated. I'm sure he does. With the wigs and everything and the, and the behaviour. He asked me how Tony was, what he was like. He's never heard Tony talk. Tony was a fucking gentleman. He never go, you can't be fucking slag or fucking like the way he portrays him. Like, like, and I was talking to my Joe about it. She went, he, he just actually makes a lot of, but everyone who actually knew Tony, yes, he did wrong things. They did do some bully things, but he wasn't a loud mouth. He wasn't a gobby like the way he portrayed him. Like, I swear, if you were seeing your missus or anything like that, he, he was the perfect gentleman. 
if he was in company, he would never go over the top like he, he did. So he don't even know Tony Tucker. He's never met Tony Tucker. Tony Tucker was dead. So he, he had to rely on information from the likes of me to play that part. So see when you, did you sign the rights away to the movie? What what was the deal that you signed? Well, you well Julian knows more about that because like when we, when we wrote it, we used to book. Were muscle. you naive to that? Because yes, I know people. I, did. so, I didn't have a fuck. Yeah, like, so I as got, for Terry and whoever the business yeah. is, they've seen. They uh, fucked me because of my naivety. Yeah, so as I know people who's written books yeah. and they've seen the whole fucking and documentaries, movies, yeah, possibly yeah, yeah. other books that come yeah, from yeah. it. They've seen the rise away. There's fuck all you can do. Yeah. That's business. Same as the music yeah, industry. Yeah. And that's what that they make. The producers make all the music. Yeah. The singers they don't get fuck all. No, they get a small they percentage. Did the same with me. Yeah, so it's all numbers. But is that what you feel that? Yeah. As yeah. a friend, they should have yeah, guided you more. Me, yeah, and and had my. Back. Or was he just thinking? Was he out there to fuck you, or was it a case of he didn't know well, either? Now, I, I think he was there to fuck me, and he didn't give a fuck because it was about the pay note. How I might be wrong. Tell if I'm wrong, I will apologise to your face. But I ain't gonna ever apologise here because you're sitting there doing shows with grasses. How long were you friends with Terry? I'd known Terry for a few years, I think, like, for the racing he was promoting and, he, and Ascot, seeing him up that end where he lives and everything, all the boys around there, you know what I mean? And, like, doing doing security over there, all the top boys that run it, uh, they all know him, he had Marrakesh. My my oldest boy was one of his doormen at his club, Marrakesh. My son worked on his door. So, uh, yeah, I've known Terry for a few years. Because I think you've done a podcast and says you should have been thankful because he made your name bigger book sales and really? other films yeah as everybody's getting older man kids could they not be brushed under the carpet and dealt with no nah. well, you know you know what it is if you want to think that if that's what you you get off at because i don't threaten you i don't go like that and i know i could go to i know exactly where he lives you know i know where listen i know where all my enemies live i've i've done that all my life and you still keep note of that I've got not getting written down or anything, and it's not a threat, but if you're someone that keeps having a go at you, someone keeps digging you out, it becomes personal, right? I've only dug him out for, because of what he, how he's portrayed my best friend and humiliated him. There's no one to defend him. Like, I, he's my mate. I, I, that's what I've got to do. I've got to defend my best mate. The others two, I'm not bothered about, but Tony was my best friend. So if there's no one in his corner, if I wasn't in his corner, I broke the bond that me and Tony had, the wish that we'd always have each other's back. So while I'm alive, if I can defend him, not defend the, the bad things he done, but if I can defend him as a mate and not have him humiliated and had the piss taken out, that's what I've got to do. Is that what you feel it's at now? Yes. 